do you struggle with procrastination? Yes. <laughs> do you struggle with procrastination? Uh, no. Mm -mm. I mean, I've always kind of uh, actually gone the opposite way, like an unhealthy amount of working on things, um, uh, even when it's better to take a break. Um, and, you know, oftentimes when uh, you're procrastinating, it's like your body is telling you something like that it has to have its mind in another space for a bit in order to, you know, focus back on whatever it is that you're working on. Mm -hmm. um, but it's taken me a while to accept, you know, taking breaks or even longer breaks like vacations as something that is good to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's not something until, you know, maybe more recently that I realized that it's a weakness to keep working. It's a strength to be able to stop, you know, um, at least for some people, you know, like workaholic kind of people, like maybe me and you and <laughs> like everyone else that, you know, works in the sort of CS field now. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, I, uh, um, yeah, yeah, I think that's yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you struggle with procrastination? No, uh, I love what I do. That's, that's the key. I, I, I want to do it. Um, there is basically no procrastination uh, issue because I, I want to do basically what I'm supposed to do. Basically, my job uh, is, is something that I, that I just want to do. Mm -hmm. Do you struggle with procrastination? Uh, yes, uh, you know, I am no physicist, but I think that procrastination is the strongest force in the universe. <laughs> you know, and it's, a, it's a force that will not get unified with any of the other forces. This one will refuse to get unified. <laughs> and, and yeah, yes, so it's just so hard to, it's so easy not to push things for another day. But uh, I generally try to, I think that it doesn't happen to me too often, actually. Uh, and when, when, when there are things that I prefer not to do, generally it's, it's not a question of procrastination. I really don't like doing them, and I will try not to do them. So, <laughs> <laughs> But in general, yeah, I, I don't think I suffer from that problem too much. Do you struggle with procrastination? Um, yes and no. So... No, because I have accepted that I will always do things last minute. Um, and yes, because I do things last minute. So if there's uh, many um, like unpredictable things or things that happen on the last day when I had planned to do my thing, then it's going to make my, my moment really tense. Mm -hmm. um, so like really down the wire and, and I don't like that. I don't like working in those conditions. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, uh, often just planning that I'm going to do things uh, kind of close to the deadline works out okay. It doesn't stress me out because mm -hmm. I know it really works out. Mm. So I'm just very cool, very zen, working on the paper until the last minute, <laughs> submitting, submitting the versions of the server closed, you know. <laughs> I'm just like very zen when I do this, but uh, so it is kind of like part of what I do. Um, and I realize it makes no sense and I, I should probably do it uh, earlier because um, because the deadlines are arbitrary. <laughs> but for, for me, procrastination is a kind of like priorities uh, forcing device because I, I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist. So if I have too much time, I'm just going to work on it like 100 times too much and uh, keep refining it, refining it. Like I, I can spend, I, I can reread a paper 50 times and still change things. Hmm. And I would. Uh, so I mean, uh, sometimes I, I, I can force myself to decide, okay, I'm, this is the last time, the last pass I do and I stop and it's done. Yeah. But uh, it's easier to just do this by having a set deadline and then I'm like, well, sorry, I didn't read really more because it was a deadline. Yeah. <laughs> well, otherwise I just keep feel like I'm going to, you know, finish something and then like go for work and think, oh, I should probably reread this and try yeah. to work on it more and never yeah. stop working on it. So, yeah. I, I, there was some, I mean, I, I really like the idea that done is better than perfect. 
Hmm? Um, and I try to live by that. But <laughs> when there's still time to do more, I kind of feel guilty if I'm not doing it. Yeah. So yeah. it said, you know, procrastination is a nice tool for this. But no, really, I should just be good at deciding, okay, this is the last I'm working on it. This is done. I, I'm not working on this anymore. Yeah, yeah. And so if like you're reverse procrastination. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're doing everything early, then whatever is coming next also needs to be started early. So that could also place a deadline for when the earlier thing needs to be done, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, but then you have to explain to people, yeah. Like, yeah, no, I'm not working on this because I'm working on this next thing. And they yeah. say, oh, but it's in two weeks. I says, yeah, but on my schedule, it's now. <laughs> and, you know, it's also that you have to be yeah. in sync with other people, yep, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Makes but sense. there's also another way I could just do this and pretend I'm, I'm still working on the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, I, I wouldn't call that so much of a problem. Uh, and for example, for things that many people procrastinate on, like doing taxes and stuff, it's never really been a problem so much. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to be a perfectionist on my taxes, you know. Yeah. Once they're done, they're done. Uh, it, it's more on, on the big projects or things I like. I could just work on them forever. So Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Do you struggle with procrastination? Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I, I wish I could say otherwise, but I do. Hmm. And uh, I think uh, uh, there are, uh, yeah, it's much easier to do the fun things than the boring things. And uh, I, 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 it's, a, it's a continual struggle. I'm not, my, my attitude to this is that it's, uh, there's some people who are lucky and who, who just don't have this problem. I, I mean, my wife is an academic and, He's an example of that. Mm. He doesn't really procrastinate. Uh, I procrastinate a lot. I've just found a way to uh, manage this weakness. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is that, you know, you, you, you have to know your strengths and weaknesses and some of your weaknesses, all you need to, what you need to do is to develop coping mechanisms. Mm -hmm. So it does not become, uh, uh, you know, it does not become super, super, hurtful to you right. right and for some people it does hmm. so i've just developed mechanisms by which i'm doing i do this uh, I, 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 it's not become pathological right right do you struggle with procrastination not that much i think you, other people are much worse um i i really don't like being late on things i that's i have this very natural stress that comes up if I feel like I might be late on something then mm -hmm. for me like to relax I will immediately go in my calendar try to figure out okay where when am I going to do this and then I over allocate probably or like I will say okay I'll do this I'll do this at, I don't know that day in that period but there will be part of me it will be like well I might not do it then because I'll probably think of an excuse for not doing it then, or there'll be something else that come up. So I'd make sure that there's an, a backup plan. And, and so usually that allows me to be on track with most things. Yeah. Do you struggle with procrastination? I don't. I really don't. Um, I, which is like, yeah, there's a lot of times I don't work, but it's very much, I think, a choice that I, I, there are many things I value more that I make space for. Um, but yeah, procrastination, not a lot. No, I, and maybe that's just my rationalization of it, but if I not, you know, if I have something that maybe I should be doing, but I choose to do something, then I choose to be so, doing something and I have no regrets about making that choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you struggle with procrastination? Um, on some things, yes. Um, generally, it, I don't think it's ever been a major thing for me. Um, I, I tend to be a pretty organized, t good time management, you know, good at time management. Um, I, I think at some point, um, I just sort of realized that professionally I didn't have I didn't have room for that it, like you just can't you just can't be a good mentor to people and do a good job of giving feedback on paper drafts for example if you if you delay and um, you know there, there are things that I'll, I'll 
occasionally let drift a little bit, um, but I'm usually, I'm not very often late with things. And uh, I often do things way in advance. Like I'm, I'm, if you can believe it, and I don't say this to brag, but um, it's, it's just become necessary. I looked at the calendar and I realized I'm doing a class that's gonna be fully online in, in, in winter, probably online, I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure. And I'm probably going to need to flip it. And so I need to record lectures. And I started doing it already um, for January, which sounds insane. And if you told myself 10 years ago, I'd be doing things like that, I wouldn't have believed it. But I have more time now. Yeah. And I, you know, I, it's just better to get it out of the way. Um, I, I, in my personal life, there are, there are things that drift. Um, like, you know, we have, a, we have a light fixture project that's been kind of lingering for a while that... Um, <laughs> I was feeling guilty about and brought up again with my wife this morning, but, but like, yeah, it's, it's not big things in work. I don't, I, I I don't want to say I never procrastinate, but not for, not for very long because I know, I know what the feeling of falling under the tide of work that you've been putting off, it feels like, and you know, it means it often when it gets too bad, right. You end up sacrificing a weekend or, sleep and or you become you become distracted when you're trying to do the other things that are more important and so i try and keep that stuff clear i'm i'm absolutely religious about my to-do list and my calendar Mm -hmm. um i don't you know i don't i i'm generally pretty quick about email um try to be responsive on slack and like juggling all of those things (laughs) Uh, eventually you, you feel a little bit like a machine, right? It's like, put the thing on the new list. What's on the list for today? Okay, got to get these things. And I don't, I don't, it's like, you don't have time to feel have feelings about it. It just has to get done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, do you struggle with procrastination? Hmm. I, I, well, I can't be honest with myself and not say yes. Um, uh, yeah, but... Um, it's funny. It doesn't seem like procrastination. It seems like, you know, just all these other things are getting in the way. But but really, it's it's sort of not not forcing these things that I want to do into the spotlight and 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 working on them. Um, I mean, that's the thing that I, I kind of notice is that people who are like really productive, I often find them to be really terrible at answering email. And um, <laughs> you know, it's because they they're focusing on look. This is what I want to do this is what I'm doing and I'm just going to ignore the other things. And um, people who are just great at answering email right away are just not necessarily the, the most productive people. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm, I'm torn in, in that, that set of constraints. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you struggle with procrastination? Oh, uh, I think I would say if it is something that I, I mean, it's not very um, unusual. Like if it is just a, uh, doing the research as I had planned, I would do. Um, if the things are as planned, then I don't think I struggle. But if there's something new comes on my plate, which I hadn't expected, and if it is, um, I don't know, like, for example, these tax forms thingy and like anything like that, which I feel like uh, it's not part of my routine, then um, yes, I think I would struggle with that. Hmm. Do you struggle with procrastination? Um. Actually, no. Um, I, what I struggle with is prioritization. Um, so I usually have more things on my list than I can possibly do. Um, and so I usually make an executive decision about a couple of days before of taking stuff off. But I really should be better at prioritizing. Like, no, you don't even need to put that on your list. Like, mm. you know you're not going to get to it. It's not worth it. Don't even put it on your list. Yeah. Um, Do you struggle with procrastination? Absolutely. I mean, I feel maybe I'm getting better now. Um, Oh, my God. When I don't like doing something. Okay, so what's what's the hardest thing for me about research in general? I think it's so I think there's different parts of research. There's like starting a thing, a project. (laughs) And then getting it from the start to an ongoing project, Mm -hmm. just an ongoing thing where like, you know, you know, there's, oh, there's this problem you have to work. There's this execution thing you have to do. There's this whatever, you know, that's the hardest thing for me. I don't, I don't understand. Like, and then there's like from that to like milestones, right? Maybe you need to wrap up this phase. You can have this paper, you know, this, this beginning phase for some reason is 
I feel the hardest for it, it takes the longest for me. Um, mm. There's some people I met who say that it's the final phase, maybe like the, you know, there's a lot of brainstorming that goes and then, yeah, so that's the hardest thing for me. And then procrastination. Uh, <laughs> like, like, I'm just trying to think of, so I, I think right now, um, like we're writing papers and a, a lot of times p- uh, people want to have like, I, I'm like, you know, let's write down what we already have, what we already know. Cause I, I, I think maybe I'm getting too old or something. I just can't handle the stress anymore. Like I, I can't do it. You know, I just, um, I want to see just words on a paper. They might not make sense. It might be a bunch of X's everywhere, <laughs> not ideas. The words on a paper just so I feel like we have something and I can iterate on it. Um, not not ideas, not, you know, more experiments right now. I just want to, like, figure out how can, we can wrap up what we have. So I don't feel like I no longer have the drive or, like, the, you know, adrenaline or something to just like oh let's do this one last no it's going to be much better if we have this one more thing (laughs) no let's do the next deadline man like I can't do this you know Mm -hmm. um so in that sense I might have been I might have gotten better but like you know there's many things where you know I know I should get x done but like I, I won't get it done because it's not fun. So I'll just do all sorts of things. So I'll clean my house. I'll like just have so many ideas of what I want to do. Um, so I'll just do that. Um, like right now I have to prepare my talk for Baylearn. I'm giving a talk. Mm-hmm. So I finally um, spent some time yesterday like outlining it. I, I don't like make, I try to have, well, I don't know if I should say this. I try to use the same talk for a long time. Maybe I'll take bits and pieces of it or whatever. Cause making, I don't like making new talks. <laughs> yeah. So this time I was making a new talk. So I made the outline. And so now I have to a lot a certain amount of time to like work on the talk and then, you know, record it and stuff like that. And so I don't necessarily like doing that. Um, so, um, so I'm sort of procrastinating on that. I feel, um, so yeah, I definitely, you know, I don't like, yeah, I, I, I deal with procrastination, but I think I am not driven enough anymore to deal to like really get it done by the time I'm supposed to get it done. You know, I just get too tired. I'm just like, yeah, sorry, it's not going to happen. Let's do it next time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you struggle with procrastination? No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I've always been pretty good about getting things done time or ahead of time. Yeah. Um, do you struggle with procrastination? So um, I would say when I was younger, I was more prone to that, mostly because I think I'm, you know, now that I think about it, I'm driven a lot by adrenaline. <laughs> so I found it kind of very boring to be always on time <laughs> for something or <laughs> right, follow every rule. So it felt like there was more of then if I was rushing at things, then it was a challenge. Like I was challenged. Interesting. Yeah. Kind of do it in a shorter amount of time, right? So mm. I would say, I mean, subconsciously, I think that's what was happening when I was procrastinating. Mm. Uh, but these days, thankfully, I have, you know, so many collaborative projects and I have like lots of back-to-back meetings and, uh, and I have, you know, great team that uh, make sure I don't procrastinate because... <laughs> They are proactive. They are always reaching out to me and uh, I make sure that's why I'm surrounded by people who are also responsible and driven right in their own way to mm-hmm. accomplish what they're, you know, the projects they're involved in. Yeah. And I think uh, having a more team-based effort will help uh, researchers not to get into that. And that's why I almost all, you know, uniformly all my projects are all highly collaborative, right? Mm-hmm. And it involves researchers at different levels. Um, you know, the beginning grad student is not uh, left uh, on their own. They have like, you know, maybe a senior grad student, a postdoc could be even, uh, you know, a researcher or another faculty. So there are so many like kind of levels of help they, they can get. Mm-hmm. And what I also encourage is students to receive that, right? Not everybody is brought up with that and, uh, uh, you know, either 
some people are shy or especially I see more with men, they feel like their ego, you know, they're taught not to ask for that. So, so there's all these, right, like kind of issues to overcome, but I, I ensure that, right, they're always asking for help. They give me regular updates. Mm-hmm. So it isn't a mad rush to the deadline. You know, yeah. we, we read papers much early on as a group, we mm-hmm. give uh, comments and it's a very broad group. And I'm sure, I, I think you also do the same. I remember you <laughs> mentioned that, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. blogs or, you know, writings. So, mm-hmm. so all this, I think, helps, you know, we want to have a system around so that an individual doesn't feel they're on their own and then they procrastinate later on, they feel bad about it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not a healthy cycle. To exactly. Me. Yeah, it's a bit of a vicious cycle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you struggle with procrastination? I used to struggle more with procrastination when um, maybe when I have more time. I think with less time, I struggle less with procrastination. There are always things that are competing uh, in terms of, you know, what you could do. Uh, But now, yeah, I I think that at some point in my life, procrastination didn't seem to be the thing that really is is the the issue. And I think, um, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm uh, making the most effective use of my time. That's very different. But procrastination to me qualitatively felt different than you know some of the challenges I face. Hmm. Yeah. Do you struggle with procrastination? Yes. If I have a deadline for something, I generally will use all available time until close to the deadline. I'm like, oh, geez, I better get going on that thing. <laughs> yeah. Do you struggle with procrastination? Yeah, 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 certainly. Um, I, yeah, so it's, it's kind of, it's almost every papers that I, I, I ever read in, typically it's kind of, um, but probably I've written uh, in probably in a few days before the, the deadline, or sometimes it's like right at the deadline. And that's kind of stress, stressful sometimes, but, uh, um, but usually when, when uh, before that, when I have actually have time, then I can do uh, this better. Uh, but since, since the pandemic, so it's, it's started to more and more uh, procrast- procrastinate it. And sometimes I would just, for example, there may be some great opportunity. Uh, sometimes I, I may just kind of, okay, let's just, let me just drop this uh, so that I doesn't feel too pressure yeah yeah. so yeah yeah, certainly I procrastinate a lot Um, one way I can I I I use to mitigate that effects is to procrastinate but do something something useful as well for example Mm -hmm. just just spend more time with the kids or do other stuff uh, when I do procrastinate yeah some of that also sounds like it might just be prioritization right deciding what you want to spend time on versus not which is which is a good thing yeah yes 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 yeah. certainly 